Go ahead. I've asked several times about um, uh, the right to defend oneself for Palestinians. Uh, and out of this room, we've heard that the U.S. does not exhibit any double, st double standards. And today in the West Bank, there, uh, the Israeli occupation forces uh, chased, beat, uh, and, and threw off a roof a 32-year-old man, Palestinian man, Hassan Mansiyah. Uh, near uh, in the Hebron district. Um, also, um, the Israeli forces uh, attacked at least two schools with tear gas, um, two inside and outside schools in the Hebron and uh, Janine districts, uh, where students were and teachers, and you know some of them experienced some suffocation. Um, you know, since October seventh, we've, I mean, we've had like what is it, 95 miners that have been killed in the West Bank. I asked before, do Palestinians have a right to defend themselves? I'm not talking about rogue individuals. I'm talking about as far as a legal uh, authority to defend Palestinians. Do they, does the State Department view that Palestinians have a right and duty to defend themselves. So, look, I have not seen uh, those reports that you outlined. I'm happy to, to look into them, and I have no doubt our uh, partners in the uh, IDF may be able to, to share more. What I can say is that actions like these, um, if true, uh, they are destabilizing. Uh, they uh, contribute, contribute to a deteriorating security situation, uh, and they are not in the interest of Israel's uh, own security. Um, and when we have seen actions like this, when we see actions from, uh, we believe quite strongly that these kinds of activities take us away uh, from a two-state solution and they feed into further instability. Okay. Uh, but that, does, the, does, does the Palestinian Authority have the right to defend its citizens? Absolutely it does. Absolutely it does. It does. Okay. Go ahead. Follow up on the campus protests. Uh, yeah. Question. You know, the U.S. government, everybody from President Biden on down to here at the podium has been quick to call out anti-Semitism at these protests, but there's also been an enormous number of examples of Islamophobia and racism from counter-protesters. Why doesn't the administration denounce that as well? And would you I did. That here? You can check the transcript. I did. Well, uh, and let me ask you about uh, Net Netanyahu's, mm -hmm. the, the news on Netanyahu today, mm -hmm. uh, where he said, that even if there's a hostage deal, they're still going Ryan, to you got to be on time. you got to come to the briefing you, on time. Did you get asked about that this morning? That too. Come on, man. Uh, 